Hi mum, it's just me. Um, sorry I keep missing you, super busy with this new job. Uh, I know it keeps going to voicemail. Anyway, I hope you're keeping cool in this, uh, this heat wave. I'll, uh, I'll try and catch up with you soon. Love you, bye. Listen, if you don't open up, the boss will come around. Just call him. Hi there, Helen. Do you know Fiona's away? I've been looking out for her. I saw her at church on Sunday, but I haven't seen her since. We were talking about this heat. Good thing it's back to normal. We're not cut out for heat like that. I know, my garden's suffering too. Well, must go, Alison. Nice to see you. Oh, hold on. I wasn't at church on Sunday, so it must have been the week before. Perhaps she has gone away to visit her son. I don't think she sees much of him at all these days. I expect you're right. Bye. Hi, there's nobody in at number two. Could you sign for this, please? Sure, no problem. Thank you very much. Better take the call log and a mobile. Might be some people in there we need to talk to. I'm already on it, Gav. The phone's dead. I've got it in the kitchen charging. It'll be ready in a few minutes. Well, what do you think happened here? <laughs> Too early to say. Choking? Heart attack? Stroke? Or just an accident? We need to wait for her in six. And we don't know how long it is since her phone battery died. She might be trying to call for help. Who called it in? The landlord. She's a long standing tenant. She plays, pays cash into the bank every month, just like clockwork. In this day and age. So he just broke in? Well, no, he tried to phone a few times, but just got voicemail. So he went, sent one of his team around. 
they had no answer. They put a letter halfway through the letterbox and when he came this morning he realised it hadn't moved. So he let himself in. Uh, found her lying here. Fan was still on. He turned that off and then dialed 999. Hi. Is everything all right? I saw your car outside and the doors open. It's OK. I've been looking out for Fiona to give her this package. It came a couple of days ago. I couldn't get an answer. I thought she might have gone to visit her son. She does that sometimes. Is she OK? You better leave the package with us. I'm afraid to say that Mrs King has passed away. What house do you live at? Oh, just number six, opposite. That's so sad. She was a lovely lady. And now I feel terrible that I didn't do more when I couldn't get an answer. But you don't like to, you know? When did you last see Mrs King? Oh, it was early last week at the start of this hot weather. I came over to offer her a fan with a heat forecast to last a while. I thought she might do with one. Well, we'll be finished up here soon. We'll come over and take a statement from you later. Yes, yes, of course. Anything I can do. Uh, me again. Listen, I ordered you a new phone a couple of days ago. That one you have is so unreliable. It's well overdue for replacement. Thought you'd have got it by now. Anyway, I was planning to come see you this weekend so I can help set up for you. Give me a call back when you get this message. Looking forward to seeing you. Love you.